Well, Ethan back for a beer review tonight, and I'm going to be reviewing, this is Old Chubb, a Scotch Ale from Oscar Blues Brewing Company. They are out of Colorado, I believe. It's a 8.0% alcohol by volume Scotch Ale, canned on June 30th, 2022, so really fresh. Only about a month and a half, two months old. So it was canned less than two months ago. Well, it's the 29th today, so about two months. So that's really fresh. Uh, you don't find beer that fresh around here very often. Um, brewed and canned by Oscar Blues Brewing, Longmont, Colorado, Brevard, North Carolina, and Austin, Texas. So they have three locations of their breweries on the can. I believe the main ones in Colorado though, but yeah, North Carolina and Texas as well. It gets a 90 on Beer Advocate and outstanding. Let's go ahead and crack it. A Scotch Ale is a, a style that I haven't had a lot of. I've had the Backwoods Bastard. Um, that's a Scotch Ale, I believe. Maybe a few others, but few and far between. It's not a style that I've had a lot of, but it's a style I really enjoy. Two, three finger, foamy, khaki colored head. The appearance of the beer is, I, I want to say, kind of a ruby red, maybe light brown, maybe amber, very dark amber. I think it looks a little darker on camera than it looks to me. To you guys, it probably looks almost like a stout. But to me, I see some red, I see some amber, I see some brown. Let's get an aroma. All right, um, on the nose, very strong uh, aroma of barley malt. A bready, a sweet, biscuity kind of aroma, almost stout-like. <clears throat> it, it, it smells almost like a raisin or a, a fig or a date. Some sort of like dark fruit. It almost has a um it almost has almost this this might be kind of reaching out on a limb, but almost a red wine kind of nose. Let's go ahead and try it. Um, very sweet, very malty, not bitter. Um, something that I didn't have it real cold, but it hasn't got down to fridge temperature because I just put it in there about mm, 45 minutes ago. But something you could drink warm. It has a stout like flavor, has kind of that red wine quality. You get a little booziness on the flavor, medium mouthfeel, rich, bold, malt, bready flavor with low bitterness. Tastes like a scotch ale. Kind of tastes like a barley wine, too. I think that's a style that originated in a similar uh, location. Basically, barley wine, scotch ale, it's usually really high alcohol beer. That's usually what those are. This one's nice. A <clears throat> um, little of that raisin, that kind of fig note. Not real carbonated, kind of a smooth mouthfeel. Not real prickly or stingy. I don't, I don't know. Really good, actually. If you want something that's lighter than a stout or even a porter for that matter but a lot heavier and more full-bodied than a lager a pilsner or an ipa or a pale ale this is something you'd want a lot of body 
<clears throat> but not real thick and heavy like a stout, a high ABV stout. At 8%, you don't really taste it. It's very drinkable for 8%. It's very drinkable for a darker beer. But like I said, not stout like a good middle ground between maybe a lager and a stout. If, this, if that's something you want, this is a good one for that. I really like it. I'm going to give it a 95 out of 100. This is kind of what I think, when I think, what I think of when I think of a beer that I really like. A lot of malt, a lot of breadiness, not as much bitterness. I like a little bitterness, but I like more malt than bitterness. So this is going to appeal to me. And if you like that, it would appeal to you too. <clears throat> yeah, 95 out of 100 for Old Chubb. Cheers and thank you for watching.